uh, California Republican Congressman Duncan Hunter here. Is it an unequivocal victory? Uh, how do you see it, Congressman? Yeah, I think it is. It took a long time to get here, and I think it does vindicate the president's position as commander-in-chief and putting national security first. And he, he did what he said he was going to do again. Through all the, all the commentary, all the bluster, all, all the uh, political stuff back and forth, the president did what he said he was going to do, and he fought through, and, and here we are. So this is a victory for the American people. I mean, we... We know now if you're a terrorist, you're not going to come in to the San Diego airport on a plane. You're not going to come in off a cruise ship. You're going to try to sneak across the border. If you're from Pakistan, if you're from parts of Africa, the Middle East, you're going to try to come across the southern border. And, and, and Trump stops this totally by not letting you even get close by getting on an, an airplane and coming into the U.S. I think it's great. It, it's one more layer of defense. does that policy change now with this decision, sir, that that, you know, which was held in abeyance for a while, you know, those from these Muslim-majority nations could still fly back and forth in here. Does that change as of now, or what's the... No, because for, for the last couple of months, the, the uh, courts upheld the last ban based on what's happening now, and the, the Supreme Court just nailed it in place. So it's, it's already been happening for most of those nations. All right, so when you hear from your colleagues on the left, and, and, and many uh, speaking for the minority opinion uh, in the Supreme Court, that this uh, endorses uh, religious discrimination, you say what? I, um, the the radical Islamists who happen to be Muslim who want to kill Americans, uh, they, we, we should realize that they're there. This keeps the American people safe. President Trump is the president of the American people. He, he's not president of anywhere else, of Africa or the Middle East. These are dangerous countries with predominantly Muslim populations who, who have radical, uh, uh, more, more uh, radical sects and, and divisions than anybody else. So those are the guys we don't want coming here. And those are the guys that Trump's travel ban is now going to stop and, and, and permanently stop in, in place. Congressman, you think this changes the debate on this immigration bill, I guess, that Paul Ryan is going to put up for a vote in the House tomorrow, and maybe this would be the wind at the president's back and, and maybe siphon off a few more votes than he would have no, gotten I normally? I, I don't think so. For me, for instance, tomorrow's immigration bill comes down to e-verify. If you don't institute e-verify, it, it, it doesn't matter how big the wall is or what kind of other provisions you do, because the magnet that pulls people over here illegally will still be there, those jobs. So they, they got to put in e-verify tomorrow. Um, that's that's going to help the immigration bill pass, but it has nothing to do with what the president's victory from the Supreme Court today. Do you think, Congressman, and maybe this applies to both parties, that you're trying to do something, this is the wrong word here, but something in, in, in one fell swoop? on immigration reform or changing immigration policies. Yeah, we but we've learned the hard it, way that it might be better to do these things in, in chunks, the DACA thing, the E-Verify thing that you alluded to, the wall, right. whatever, because what, try as you guys may, nothing happens on the other front. Sure. So uh, seal off the border first. You have to build a wall. You have to do, do E-Verify. So we know we're only hiring American citizens. But, but when, once you do those two basic things, that, that stops 90 percent of the people from coming here. If, if there's no, if there's no uh, work for illegal aliens and you have the, the border fence stopping terrorists and drug smugglers and human smugglers, that, that makes the rest of, of the debate very easy. Meaning those, those are the two, two of the more contentious things, but two of the things that will stop 90 percent of illegal immigration, the border wall and E-Verify. So, so do those things. It's a complicated subject. It's going to take a complicated bill, but I, I don't think it's too crazy. And, and I think we have a good chance of passing it tomorrow, especially if E-Verify is part of it. The president said earlier in the week, sir, though, but it just wait till after the, the midterms when he, right. he's hoping that you guys pick up some seats. That some Senate be, seats. Be, right, some Senate right. seats. But yeah, uh, yeah. how realistic is that, I'm not the Senate seat part, but that delaying will get any more of a positive yeah. response? No, it, I don't think it will do anything because it still comes down to the Senate. The House is going to pass something. We're going right. to pass immigration legislation. It's going to go to the Senate and By do the way, what most things thing do in the pass, Senate. They die. I don't see it. To, this thing. Yeah, I think it, really? if they add in, if they add E-Verify in, I, th I think they can make it happen. Me and me and many others will, will go from no to yes if E-Verify is part of the immigration bill. I don't do vote counting, so I don't know. But in the end, things die in the Senate. Um, I mean, they, they, they just go there to die. So M McConnell needs to work this, and the president needs to work senators and, and try to get those six votes that we need to pass immigration legislation. That's where the real fight's going to be at. All right, so the 193 votes that the more conservative measure got last week and its failure, which was more than most people thought it would get, does that indicate to you that this measure could have at least that? Um, yes. Really? Absolutely. 
So I if think the number's the... going to go up, Neil. It's okay. It's, it's going to get closer to 218 than we need. All right. All yeah. Right. All right. We'll watch that. All, All right. right. So we'll, and we'll find out tomorrow. That's the good part of this. We, we will know soon. Yeah. It will, it will be put to bed one way or the other tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Congressman, thank you very, very much. Very good seeing you. Hey, thank you, sir.